Here we see Martin Underhill, the Dorset Police and Crime Commissioner. He was elected to hold the Chief Constable to account for the actions of her officers. But then Underhill is a former senior police officer from Sussex who immediately before he retired was facing misconduct allegations himself. Underhill, we do not know where his sympathies lie with officers facing misconduct allegations since he was the subject of them immediately before retiring and later coming down to Dorset and finally getting himself elected as the Dorset Police and Crime Commissioner. Martin Underhill is also a member of Rowena Lodge. The people of Dorset have had to put up with all kinds of Masonic hanky-panky from people in public office ranging from council officers councillors, council officers, police officers and members of the police authority they've had to put up with this for years. As a matter of fact the Dorset Masonic Hanky Panky in public office formed a complete BBC documentary programme Anything to Declare which is also on our websites and video channels. What is of more concern to people in Dorset who voice this to our organisation is the fact that they expect someone in a position like Martin Underhill to be free from Freemasonry. Someone who is the checks and balances to bring the police to account. They don't expect to be under an oath to support a brother Mason at all costs, which of course Underhill and all other brethren in his secret society are under that oath. One thing we do know is that Martin Underhill wrote to me, stating that he has no intention of investigating officers that have retired or that are about to retire. Martin Underhill is made fully aware of government policy and CPS policy. He is also made fully aware of what the new legislation is. The fact that officers facing criminal allegations, officers that have retired facing long standing criminal allegations should be investigated. He knows that this is CPS policy. He knows this is Home Office policy that historical crimes should be investigated. And yet, he has written to say that he has no intention of investigating officers who have retired or are about to retire. Underhill, it could be argued, is involved in a premeditated course of conduct that amounts to institutionalised misconduct. Misconduct in public office is an indictable criminal offence. What's more worrying is the fact that Mike Pennon has a board. We don't know what this board is, but it is a board that Martin Underhill is involved with. We don't know if it's some sort of criminal justice board, or Mike Pennon's got some sort of burden board involving um, police and crime commissioners. You can be certain, though, that they get paid remuneration or get paid um, expenses for being members of this board. What we do know about all these boards and quangos is that everybody that serves on a quango is well paid by the remuneration or so-called expenses. They're all coining it in. We also know that Underhill has been given by Mike Penning over £300,000 spread over three years for a victim's unit. A victim's unit, this is a joke to the victims in Dorset who he will not address their problems and their allegations of police misconduct. And the IPCC. And of course, these victims that are associated with our organisation are all part of a wider campaign to have the IPCC done away with. Why do they want the IPCC done away with? Because like all these senior police officers and crime commissioners, they're all pissing in the same pot. And they're pissing in the same pot at your expense. You, the ratepayers. They are taking the piss out of you and they are coining it in.